Hey there, fellow designers. Welcome back to my channel where we explore the fascinating world of CAD modeling. In today's tutorial, we'll be designing a curved spring from scratch. Curved springs are versatile components used in various applications, such as clutches and torque converters. So buckle up and let's dive right in. If you're enjoying the content and want to see more videos like this, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications. Your support means a lot to me and it helps me continue creating content that you love. If you have any questions, please let me know in the comment section. Thanks for watching and welcome to my growing community. Okay, so this is our spring. And we will need one command that doesn't exist yet here in our, on our toolbar. I will start with an empty file and go to this plus, add custom features, sign, click that and write um, spline x expansion so that's a search and I'll take that first search result and take that first um, item here 3d spiral and take that so the custom feature 3d spiral was added to your toolbar all right where is it right here so now let's start sketching and I will sketch on that front plane. Press N to have a normal view of that. Press P to hide the planes. And then I'll take the center point arc, take the origin, go over here, over there. Give that arc a dimension of 122 and press H for a horizontal constraint between the origin and that endpoint and that one likewise. So we just got that arc and now let's go into our new command the 3D spiral, spline edge. So I'll take this one here and we get that line, that spline that goes around and I will specify a radius of 62 and with uh, 36 revolutions. Takes a little moment. And then we get our curve here. All right, so to make that a solid, we'll make a sweep around that curve. I will define a plane with curve point. Go to that end here, pick that and pick our curve. The plane is created and then sketch on that plane. That'll be a circle. I'll dimension that with uh, four millimeters. Press I for a coincident relationship between that center point and that point. Accept that, hide that plane. Go into sweep, a solid sweep, off our circle, and the path is our curve. Okay. Onshape needs to calculate that for three seconds. I think that's okay, yeah? And there you have it our curved spring. 
I hope you liked that and I talk to you soon.